If someone has questions, I might have to have somebody be an interpreter for me. Uh, my hearing has gotten too bad, and as usual, I don't have my hearing aid in. Anyway, over the time, there's been a, a bunch of meetings going on, and you've read, uh, hopefully, what was in the bulletin this morning. And I think I made a serious mistake. We, we talked about having this announced, a meeting announced in the bulletin. But when you have a special meeting, it must have a reason. And that never got published. And I'll take the blame for that. Uh, and so, if we could call this our announcement, in about three weeks from now, we'll continue. Our meeting has to be in person for our vote. And I want people to know all of the things, and I think the council want everybody to know exactly what's going on. And I'm up here because Mark came to my house, I don't remember how many days or weeks ago, and we sat and talked for a long time. He just didn't feel like he had time for all the meetings and stuff it takes to get this done, and he asked me to be, to lead, if you would. Okay, and so that's what that's why I'm here. Um, when we vote, I don't know if it's correct or not, but I would think that there are some people that are really locked down, and that first vote has to be in person. But my thought is that if they come to the parking lot, we could bring them a ballot. So that people could vote, even though they don't want to be in the church proper. And we'll get that message out to people. And this message that you got today, I don't know if Deb's got it sent to everybody that has email and all that kind of stuff, but I will ask her to do so. So that it's going out, and so that in three weeks from now, everybody will have had a chance to get it. And if they don't have email, and if they don't have text message, then it will go out by letter within the next day or two so that everybody's aware of what is going on. Now, as you see, one of the things that in order for us to conduct business uh, without joining together is we have to have a vote. And I would like to have that approved before we vote on one, joining with Faith United, because that's what we've been talking about. And I think they are totally in agreement. We seem to be totally in agreement, at least council-wise. And the Monday night we met at Faith United again with groups of three uh, from each council. And we went over all of the compensation package for Mary uh, so that if, if Mary is our call, she is prepared to accept the comp compensation package that we put together. Uh, for her. Uh, in order to issue a call, uh, we have to go through some hoops uh, with the Senate, and that'll take a little bit of time. But those are all of the things I think that are going on uh, in the congregation at the moment, and that's what we're going to vote on. And so I, I don't know that we even need to call this meeting to order, but it was called, and I thought you deserved an explanation. And and I'm sorry that, that I sort of screwed up and didn't get that in there, but uh, a one-year-old one year in your house can really upset things. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, I never saw it such a blessing that it took so much time. Uh, that, uh, but anyway, do any of you have any questions about what's happening here and what's taking place? That they are big steps for our church. And it's not something we haven't done before. We were once upon a time in a, I think we were a group of three churches, us, Bergen, and uh, Gabriel. And so it's not something new for us. And some of you might remember that Pastor Lance, bless his heart, we worked really hard for a while to see if we could get Vaughn and Gabriel and Bergen in an agreement. And that didn't 
didn't work out for us, but uh, now we have this situation where faith is going to be without a pastor after Christmas, after the first year, and Mary is ready to be ordained and called. And we as a church, I think our council agrees too that you know we can't afford exactly what we really should pay Mary. But between the two of us, we can do it. And we can carry on ministry. And so that's the things that are here. So if you have questions, be sure to ask here because I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Anybody have a question? Yes, Scott. I'm recording this so it'll go out on uh, Facebook and YouTube as well. But so the purpose of the special congregational meeting is exactly I want to make sure it's exactly stated. We're, we're in discussion with joining with Faith United, correct? That's one. Yep. Calling Mary, correct? Two. And was there a third thing as well? Or is it just two? The, the third was the virtual voting. Oh, okay. So that's the third one. Okay, just so that we have it clear, clearly stated so everybody knows. Excellent. Okay. Twenty ninth of November. Yes. Okay. okay. That's